I come to do my job here as an assistant and you know it, eventually it just happened I mean I really didn't uh, think beyond that too much I mean um, I'm happy it happened but not in the circumstances that it happened either I mean I don't like anybody losing their job and I was I was friends with uh, Peter Laviolette and Kevin McCarthy they're good people and it's tough anytime there's a change especially with uh, coaches and, and coaches that you uh, We've had uh, you know, a really strong relationship with. It's it's, uh, it's tough to see them go, and uh, it's uh, it's definitely something that uh, I wish we could have uh, averted. Oh, he's not gonna talk for uh, to just uh, uh, waste your time. He's uh, he's a smart guy. He's uh, he knows the game uh, really well, and <clears throat> you know what, he wants to win. So he'll uh, he'll 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 do what what it takes to uh, to get the, the guys going. Like I said, I think uh, changing the mindset of our hockey team, it's been a certain way for a number of years now and you know, old habits are hard to break and I think to change that mindset of how we, got, how we need to play to, to be successful is probably the biggest challenge, but I think we'll get there. He's been a player, he's, uh, he's been a coach for now uh, for a number of years. I think he has that uh, experience. I, know he, I think he knows what kind of style he wants to use and, and uh, he knows the players well in the room and uh, what kind of message uh, is going to be um, well received by different guys. So The first thing is our play without the puck has got to get a lot better and um, I want to be a good team without the puck. Uh, you know, I believe that everybody can play the same without the puck and that's one, one thing. And the other thing is the skating for me. We've got to get we got to become a faster skating hockey team and um, a, a faster thinking hockey team. Uh, there's a lot of character on this team. You have a great captain and a great player. Uh, and people are going to follow him. You know, he's just he's going to come around. And like I said, with the character and the players that we have on this team, I believe it's a make it for a great team. If the Flyers were going to take the initial strides toward becoming a great team, it would have to start with Barubi's first game. With Nary a practice to implement his new system, the Flyers were going to have to lean on their best player in the early season, goalie Steve Mason, if they were going to pick up that first victory. Is up in it. Jumps to the puck there. It's Jake Ward. He'll wind. He'll fight her. Wind right back at it from Reed Shinsky. Hey, we got a lot of talented guys. We got a lot of guys that can put the puck in the back of the net. But it's just a matter of, like I said earlier, execution and, and putting that puck to the net and not getting too cute and uh, just going to those dirty areas. In the middle. Whitney back to Fleischman in front of the lot. Oh. Spectacular save, Mason. A goalie always is a momentum booster for a team. I think he can steal games for you and Mays played a great, great game and that and it was very important that he did, you know, for our team to get the victory and uh, it's always nice to have great goaltending, I'll tell you that. I really believe that a goalie can be uh, uh, the best leader out there. Uh, any, any big saves he makes or uh, let's say I do a, a mistake and he's there to back me up, uh, I kind of want to help him uh, uh, in the future and kind of make, uh, uh, make it up for him. Anytime we can get that first win and just build from there, it's it's a it's a it's a journey, and we got to make sure that our play continues to get better, and um, guys realize what mistakes they're making, and uh, try to improve on that. To be able to finally get our first win, and uh, you know, give Chief his first victory as a head coach was was great to see. And going 0 and 3, and there's a lot of pressure there and stuff to get a win, and they finally got one. So I felt really good for the team, and it's very important. First one's always the hardest. When you get that, that's how you get confidence. You, uh, you don't need to, to play unbelievable to get the confidence up. When you get a win, you start feeling good about your game, start feeling good about yourself, and uh, you just go from there. First start for the Flyers will be for Steve.